Hmm. What is going on? Showing Ah, oh, there we go. Finally. Okay, so uh let's try that. Okay, hey guys. Welcome to the How about stream. a quick break so I can sketch this beautiful okay, scenery? Okay, so, uh... I know I haven't, uh... Dreamed the last two days. Uh... I was just simply feeling a bit lethargic lately. It's been so cold, so... First forth. Oh, it, it doesn't affect them. Anyways... Fine, whatever. Okay, so, uh, what are we going to do today? This one. This is the last one, and apparently after this event, you can get the, uh, uh, what they call it? Kagebushin dog? The shadow dog, anyway. So, let's go to Sango and get on with this event. What was I was saying earlier? Right, I am feeling very sleepy these days. Like, I want to go into hibernation like how bears do when it's when it's uh, the winter, you know? It's been very cold lately, so... Yeah. <laughs> I just want to go lie down all day and sleep. Ah, you're here, as expected. Ryuji is currently investigating Yashiori Island to follow up on my hunches. Let me mark the locations on your map. If you're hurried, there will still be time to catch up with them. Why are we in such a hurry? Wasn't Ryuji gonna meet us here and head out together with us? Because this inv investigation is fast approaching its end, of course. Hurry now, we're about to witness the truth coming to light. Oh, now that you say it like that, Pime is getting a little excited too. Come on, traveler, let's go. Okay, let's go find Ryuji. So, I wonder how hard this one is going to be. After all, the the previous one was a bit a bit hard. I had to do it so many times. The soil is moist, ideal for collecting the roots of bloom blossoms. No, please, allow me to handle this. Oh yeah, before I forget, uh, ascension time for for Alvito. I think there's something wrong with OBS, with my OBS today. Rubido in alchemy refers to the refining of feeling. I feel the refining of my own emotions is also thanks to you. <clears throat> okay, we've unlocked the homuncular nature. Uh, huh. Is this the main open today? Ah, uh, it is. Let me do that later.
Oh, there he is. <laughs> I heard the, uh... The raccoon. Ryuji, we're here. Ah, uh, it's you too. Sanko sent me here to do some preliminary investigation, saying that you would arrive shortly. Indeed you have. Well, she told us you'd be here. How's everything going? Huh? There's nothing here but a bunch of cages for small animals. Where are the people at? They just left. It's a treasure hoarders. Sango told me that they were planning to steal dogs and train them to become treasure hunting hounds. Huh? Like the weasel thieves? Exactly. The thing about weasels is that they're mischievous creatures that are hard to teach. As such, their training was a failure. This time, they were planning to try this again, but with the more loyal dogs. Previously, we also handled quite a few commissions regarding the treasure orders. Now that I think about it, Sango was right about that, too. Just as people leave footprints behind, so too do organizations leave unique traces. Although there were other lost and imprisoned animals that came up throughout this process, the signs eventually pointed back to the treasure hoarders all the same. Well, there were the second part of the event, so it's obvious that they had something to do with it. After consulting the previous methods we used to resolve the cases, I found my investigations leading me here. Still, to not leave a single guard behind, I must say that these perpetrators are way too careless. That's real complacent of them, alright. Still, I'm sure that even you're tired after so many days of fighting, aren't you, Traveler? Guess we can just snag the animals in secret. Yeah, yeah that's what Paimon was thinking. Alright, let's go. Uh, <laughs> we were just talking about you, you know. The shadow dog. Woof! <laughs> it, it's black shadow. Well, whatever the case, he seems to have no desire to attack us. Woof, woof! <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. He's turning back to look at us every so often. Does he want us to follow him? Let's catch up. Indeed, perhaps the truth really is ahead. Perhaps things are just as Sango predicted. What about the eel dog? Oh. Wait. What's this? Who? We finally caught up. Eh? There's some kind of letter over here. Let's read it. It is the last clue we have after all. I'm... well, it's still kind of surprising how a paper is not so dripping wet from all this rain, though. <laughs> right, let's... let Paimon see. Do him ever something something? Ah, uh, it's all battered and stuff. It's probably to him ever should read this letter. Hmm, huh? Guess so. It goes on. Our class profession is... It's the training of Ninken, and to this end, we have provided the ninja with a great many reliable companions. I fear that I am unlikely to return from this latest expedition of mine. I have no regrets, but if I were to still have worries, it would be for Kagero Maru. Oh, so that's his name. Kagero Maru. He was too weak when he was young, and so he was left out when the ninja came to make contracts. Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, I mean, what did I say again? Doesn't he look dashing? 
Day after day of training passed and with each day Kagaramaro grew stronger. Unfortunately, he has no wish to make a contract with any ninja. War has not broken out yet, but the police station's missive have become more urgent. I no longer have time to spend with him. It is time to go. I can only leave this letter behind. If anyone should find it in the days to come, please help me take care of Kagero Maru. He has a scar in his face that we got when he was young, and he holds himself in a manner evidently different from other dogs. So the Kagero Maru the letter speaks of is this fellow who brought us here, I guess. He really is very unique. Hang on, there's more stuff here. I understand that this is a presumptuous request, but I do not have any other choice. Also, should he wish to make a contract in the future and can bring the one he wishes to follow to this place, then the method to make a contract is as follows. Wait, seriously? The writer canceled the most important bit out. Probably thought this was impossible. That is true. There was no evidence that would indicate otherwise from the beginning after all. Woof woof. <laughs> Eh? It ran off again and into a building this time, too. Come on, Traveler, after it. <laughs> okay, so let's, um... Oh! Oh, I have to... Enter. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have, uh... Leveled up Albedo first. Hmm, let me see if I can do that. Oh. Whoa. Solidify. Come into be. Witness my great undertaking. This is order. Disappear. Worthless. Here. That's something jukesu. Worthless. Stabilize. Live. Stabilize. Come into being. I swear by my sword. Cool. This is so cool. It would be very cool if uh <laughs> if he came up with yes, you know. Order. Burst forth. Boring. <laughs> Evil conquering. Live. <laughs> Come into be. Feel the sanctious power. Okay, that was it. Well, that's that. Done. Still, that was strange. Kageromaru seemed friendly at first, and then before we knew it, we were in a fight. Thank goodness for Traveler, huh? Actually, why is Kageromaru following you around, Traveler? I think that was the initiation <laughs> of, of a contract. Whoop whoop. This barking sounds happier somehow. Yeah, and he doesn't he doesn't look like he's angry anymore. Doesn't he? How can you tell? Paimon didn't get it at all. Unless I miss my guess, Kagaramaru is now Traveler's Ninken. Eh? Huh? Well, I'm no expert on Ninken contracts. However, they do say that a ninja must defeat a Ninken to receive its acknowledgement. Ninja desires strong companions, and so too do Ninken. Only through mutual recognition can such contracts be established. It certainly seems to be the case here, too. But Traveler isn't a ninja, and also... Um... Um... Something the matter, Paimon? Promise Paimon something, Traveler? What's that? You've got a promise first. Uh, sure, I promise. What is it? It's sounding so serious, Paimon. 
Even if you're now contracted to Kageromaru, never forget that Paimon's your bestest companion ever. I promise never to forget that Paimon is my bestest companion ever. But... It's certainly weird. Just out of the blue, why, are, why is Paimon being so sentimental? Yay! I mean, I'd call you more reliable. Uh-huh, we're the best of friends. Suddenly so serious out of nowhere, what was that? Um, it's nice to see that the two of you get along and all. But back to the topic at hand, if Kagurumaru really is so strong, then why did the person from before leave a letter asking someone to take care of him? Oh, oh, Paimon knows this one. You see, Ryuji? Traveler is super strong, right? Far beyond the norm, for sure. Right? But see, if someday Paimon had to leave Traveler, Paimon would still be really worried. It's got nothing to do with whether Traveler is strong or not. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> is this some kind of foreshadowing? If someday Paimon had to leave. Why? No, please don't say such very... <laughs> oh, uh, actually, that one's a toughie even for Paimon. It's a real shame that Kageromaru can't speak either. Otherwise, we could just get Traveler to ask him. I suggest we look for Songo instead. Oh, right! Oh, that's right! Type it Okay, so we got back. Um... Alright. Okay. So let's leave this domain now. Hyman, the best travel companion ever. The irony that we just suddenly have that that kind of ominous talk. What is with that ominous talk with Paimon? Never Paimon gets serious like that, it always means something. We're back, Sango. Here's what happened. Ryuji tells Sango what happened. Ah, oh, so that's the case. I think I've got a pretty good idea why Kageromaru was protecting the little animals. He must have been trying to make the other animals stronger. He must have been weak when he was little, only to become strong over time. It does stands to reason that he wanted to help make the other animals stronger through training. But eventually, Kageromaru found you, someone willing to protect the weak and has thus acknowledged you as his master. He is also born from his sympathy for the weak. Well, that's what my deductions from the clues we currently have would say anyway. As for the actual circumstances, I doubt I'm particularly far off, but since Kageromaru can speak, we won't get a firm answer either. Huh? That really makes sense, as expected of the brains of this operation, eh? Woof woof woof. <laughs> eh? You're agreeing with Fongo, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> thanks for the flattery, but that's not going to net you any discounts if you ever send me a commission. Still, we can consider this case closed. Many thanks to the two of you, of course. Ah yes, I almost forgot. How did you find using the ubiquity net? Trust me, I lived in fear of tearing it. <laughs> Alright, noted. I'll send your feedback to my friend. Thanks. No problem. Feel free to come to us if you ever have any problems. Traveler will be on the case in no time. You're indeed very skilled, Traveler. But there's no need for this pleasantry. Sentimentality is the enemy of truth after all. Okay, so I guess we got... Everything and we got Kagero Maru now. But just a minute. Do we do we actually get this? Do we get the ubiquity net? 
No? What? We don't... We don't actually get the ubiquity yet? I thought... I thought that we were supposed to get it. Oh, so it's not... I thought that we were supposed to get these. I'm just a help. Uh, no. It's this one. Okay. Got two. President Summer, I'm, I'm just going out into the world and investigate. Oh, I got this one. We're going to need more crop uh, from my. Turning the unknown. I thought that we were going to get the uh the ubiquity net. Is it because I chose the wrong one? Speak to First, let's um, go to Serenity Teapot. And uh, put Kageramaru here. There are also many dogs out here. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Let's remove one. Meeny, meeny, miny. Oh. What? He costed two dogs? Ah, that is what we heard. <laughs> I guess we could train with him. I wish we could bring him. Would you care to sit down? I wish we could bring him with us. Okay, I got the wrong bonus. Flame. 